So the stuff came. I'm just trying to justify my purchases. Don't judge me, okay? My, my. Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to this vlog. You might be wondering why I'm vlogging in my living room and uh, this isn't a Bali video. Well, looks like our flight is canceled. Skydiver. There is quite the story to come with that, okay? I wanna get into detail about what happened and everything like that in another video, a separate video, because it is going to be a drag video about AirAsia, okay? Just the pants outside, putting your lipstick, your phone, and your card reader. A Roomba is just putting around over there. Sorry if you can hear it, but hello! And yes, we finally get to talk while I have a full face of makeup on. Welcome back to this vlog. In today's video, I'm going to be meeting up with a friend that we've actually met through this YouTube channel. And she moved to Japan and she's living in Mie, where I used to live. And now she's up here for just a little bit, a little bit of vacation. And we are gonna go to the Sailor Moon Cafe in Yurakujo. Yurakujo, wow, that station is kind of hard to say. One thing you guys should know about me, I was literally obsessed with Sailor Moon back in the day. Who was your guys' favorite Sailor Scout? Let me know, down below. Mine was Sailor V. I loved Sailor Venus since she popped on the scene in the later episodes. I was like, oh my God, Sailor V, you my girl. Love and beauty sharp! Love and beauty sharp! I don't even remember, but something like that, one of her like little attacks. I was feeling a little bit rough this morning just because, you know, Ariana flew in town last night and I quickly met her for some drinks. Guys, look who I'm with! Hey, it's Ariana! We are already up to no good. We are heading home now. Time to go home. Time to go home. Look at Time to go Time to go Time to go <laughs> That's going in. And so Ariana's in town and we are going to be meeting tomorrow because it's December 30th today. And tomorrow is, you know, New Year's Eve. But anyway, let me show you guys my outfit downstairs before we hit the road. Today's outfit. I'm going to be wearing my Baker Boy hat, this uh, ribbed turtleneck, striped turtleneck, this very, very long and thick denim jacket that I got from GU. Mom jeans, as per usual, and just some boots with socks. Although I will say, everything sticks to these mom jeans, so I'll probably have a ton of lint there. Keys, check, let go. I'm just at Yurakujo Station now, waiting for Kara, and I think the Sailor Moon Cafe is in this building over here. I don't have my zoom lens on, but this... We've arrived at the Sailor Moon Cafe! Mmm, and look, there's seats. It is all men working at the cafe. <laughs> you know why though? It's because all the people who come here are women. Like, I mean, actually, that's a lie. There's men sitting in the lobby. We got a seat right under the banner. <laughs> They have artwork everywhere. The roof is quite adorable as well. So the stuff came. I got this one. And I got a cute little milk milk latte. The foam looks like it's like this thick. <laughs> and a cute little mango uh, mango pudding. My total today was 2,500 yen. $25. Expensive. <laughs> but it's so cute. We're gonna try the mango pudding. We both got the same. Give me your first impressions. All right. Did you just get the jelly? Just the jelly. Just the jelly? Give me a sec. One more. Dig deep. Chicken Dig deep. deep. Real deep. <laughs> what do you think? Mm. Is it good? It's really good. Oh, really? It's really mango-y. I love mango. Okay, I gotta try it now. Jab it. Okay, please hold. Okay, I got some cake. There's cake and pudding. It really does taste like mango. It's quite good. Not like, I mean, you come to these cafes to pay for the theme, you know? Support your favorite childhood TV show. Something like that. I'm just trying to justify my purchases. Don't judge me, okay? We've now ventured our way over to the gift store. You have to keep this little ticket because if you don't, then you can't buy anything. So we have some little buttons. Nanikore magnets. Cups, file folders, keychains. Might get one of these ones. 
Hello Sunny. We just came to Harajuku. I guess to be specific, Takeshita Street, Takeshita Dori, because I want to get some stuff from Stamanda. It's so busy by the way. It's like peak time, everyone's on vacation. Oh my god, do you see the sea of people? I think I'm gonna do the ultimate touristy thing and buy a Japan t-shirt. This is how you can tell when something's going on because people stop moving and whip out their phones. Crazy. Why do we do this to ourselves? I'm so sorry bringing you here. We just decided to pop into Forever 21 and on the way here I dropped this camera, guys. But everything's okay, hopefully. I mean, it's still working. Hey guys, I'm almost home now, but I have to pop in to my grocery store and get some supplies because I'm gonna make oden, which is like a Japanese traditional kind of bland, healthy food. Um, and let it sit overnight for tomorrow so we can eat it for New Year's Eve. So, let's go to the grocery store first. It's getting chillier and chillier by the day and I kind of love it. Welcome to the Oden section. These are like little mini packs that have everything in it, which are good. I really love these ones and those ones. Back home now from the grocery store. I thought you can see where I was wearing that hat. Oh well, please pause. I need to put a uh, chapstick on. It's so dry. It's a Kiehl's lip balm that I picked up. It's just so-so. But yeah, yeah, Style Nando was so busy, but like the last time I went in there with Natalie, it was like that too. So I picked up a Style Nanda liquid foundation, the 3CE one. I'm gonna do a review video on this and a wear test. And then I finally picked up a extremely orange blush. Like I love looking at the sound on the website and seeing the girls, like the models, have extremely orange cheeks. And it's popular in Japan, that color. So this one is called My Muse. Look at how orange it is. How can I, it's like a peachy orange. And I can't wait to try that out. I hope this foundation is going to be a color match for me because this is the lightest color that they have, but it's an ivory beige. Looks like this. I love the style on the bag. I'm totally keeping that. And there, you guys seen I stopped into that really random shop in um, Harajuku, like the Takeshita Street, Takeshita Dori. And I did the most uh, touristy thing you can do is buy a Japan shirt. Although I didn't want it to say Japan. Instead, I wanted it to say Harajuku. It's a unisex size. This is the medium. It says Harajuku there, and that kanji there is Harajuku. It does have a strange smell though. It needs to be washed. It smells like permanent marker. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna do laundry tonight. So that's gonna go in the washing machine. And then quickly, Kara wanted to just um, see uh, Nitori. And Nitori is like one of the only places I can find in Japan that sell scented candles. So I picked up a scented candle for 500 yen. And this one is called Fall Orchid. Orchard, orchard, orchid. It kind of smells like vanilla, but like a spicy vanilla, if that makes sense. Mm, exciting! And yeah, that's all I picked up. I'm just gonna quickly put some laundry on and make oden. Although, for <laughs> the candles, like lighting my face. For New Year's in Japan, people usually don't really eat oden. They eat like osechi, which is like a layered bento box or they eat like special noodles um really really long noodles i think they're like kitsune noodles to represent you know long life but i'm gonna prepare oden let's go make it so one of my favorite things to add to oden is boiled egg but i don't want to you know have to boil eggs so i'm gonna use this sucker here so you basically just put your three eggs inside here you have to make sure that you put water on the inside to the line and put it in the microwave for like 10 to 12 minutes, I think. <gasps> no! I just added a pack of this Oden mix with five cups of water. Now I'm gonna start adding in things like daikon, Somehow, I kind of made a lot of oden. Oops. Hey 
Hey guys, I'm in my bathroom and I just wanted to mention I bought this Kiehl's face product recently, the Midnight Recovery Concentrate. It comes in a glass bottle and you pick up some product by pushing there and it comes out like an oil and you just use a couple drops after you wash your face at night. And I also picked up the eye cream and I've only been using it for a couple days and it's already like life changing. I'm, I'm loving it. So far, so good. I was planning on filming a like uh, take the day off with me, like how I do my nighttime routine, all my steps, because there's a bunch of steps I don't show. Um, and I also have people ask me about like stuff to get in Japan, um, like face products for acne. And I was gonna film that in Bali, but you know, I didn't quite make it to Bali because you know, the Bali bathroom was gonna be absolutely beautiful. And then my bathroom here is like so small. My bathroom is legit so small. This is what it looks like. Yeah. Okay, out of the shower now. Um, yeah, so today was supposed to be the day that we were gonna fly in from Bali in the morning. How depressed was I when I woke up? Final thoughts on the Sailor Moon Cafe? It was definitely interesting. I mean, it's nice that it didn't have any kind of seating charge because some themed cafes will charge you like $5 just to come in and sit down and stuff. It was cute. It's definitely a different experience. I've never really been to like that kind of a anime theme cafe, so that was different. Honestly, the food was not worth the money. When you go to a theme cafe, it's more for like the experience or you like the maybe theme it is or animation, for example. I love Sailor Moon. You pay to go to like support that. Not for the food, you know? Just to take pictures of the food and look at the food and be like, oh my god, it's so cute. And then you eat the food and it's never good, I swear. But I'm gonna call this vlog a quits for today. Um, it's getting quite late. T and I are watching Black Mirror. We just finished episode one. It was good, although he, he was like, it's kind of boring. It's a good thing that every episode is different with Black Mirror. So thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you liked it, comment down below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.